since that date, the Arms Control Association reports that 528 nuclear bombs have been detonated above ground and 1,528 detonated underground. And so if you pause and think for a moment, think about where does all of that radiation and, gen- and energy end up? Um, where, after bouncing around for, for, for decades, where does it end up? And while thinking about it, it may be mind-boggling, there's more. Uh, Consider the Arabian Sea, which has the largest known dead zone in the world. It is a span of ocean larger than Florida, wherein all the oxygen has been sucked out of the ocean, has been removed from the ocean. Pollution is the the primary culprit affecting the ocean and its marine life. This occurs when human beings release harmful chemicals into the ocean. Various sources contribute to the the issue, including fertilizers and pesticides from agriculture, sewage, and pollutants from land-based sources like stormwater. These contaminants make it increasingly difficult for marine marine organisms to survive. It is estimated that there are approximately 300, excuse me, approximately 530 dead zones worldwide, covering an era, uh, an area of about 95,000 square miles. 